Welcome back to Menorca, an island nestled in the Balearic archipelago of Spain. We're anchored nearby the historic town of Ciutadella, the original capital city of Menorca. Join us this week as we finish off our time in Menorca by trying some local tapas. Before sailing to the neighbouring island of Mallorca, just like that, we're going six and a half knots out of the bay, where Jace catches, uh, his biggest catch yet, and we explore what this stunning island has to offer. Good morning. We are still on the anchorage in Suitadella, or near Suitadella. Jason has taken the cats for a walk over on this volcanic rock. I didn't think it was a very good idea, but anyway, he's very stubborn. <laughs> and he insists on doing it. But I'll show you where we are. So we're in this cool anchorage that's got like rocks almost the whole way around. So it's got pretty good protection. We did get a little bit of swell rolling in here last night, but not bad. And the water is stunning. Oi, Jason. Oh dear God. Quick, quick, just straight ahead. They're back. They made it without falling in the water. How was that, darling? It's a struggle to get them back. Far I'm going to take them over there. It's nice and close. And then we don't have breakfast ready for them, so we had to poach a chicken. Yeah, we need to go get some food. So take their minds off food because I was talking about it. Mm. And they loved it. They actually love it when they get over there. They just hate the boat right over. Yeah, Freaks they just, them out. They like that tiny little stretch of water just here. Yeah. My good shirt got raped. She was, she was scratched too. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Our package has arrived in Mahon that we've been waiting around for. But instead of sailing all the way around the other end of the island to go pick it up, we decided that because there's no wind, it's probably going to be cheaper or the same price just to hire a moped for the day. So we've hired a scooter from Sweet Adela, where we are, and we're gonna take it around the island for the day. We'll go into Mahon, um, pick up the package, and then we'll check out a few spots on the other side of the island where we didn't get to sail before we potentially leave tomorrow or the next day to Mallorca. So that's the plan today. Should be fun, hey? Yeah, it'd be good. And it's, it's a different way to explore the island. Yeah, we don't get to do it too often because usually it's pretty expensive. But yeah, and it was cheap. It was how much cheap was it? Scooter, 25 like euro. 25 27. euro and then like 5 euro for insurance. So yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. We had swell. Like literally, we've got the tiniest angle that the swell can get in and it got in last night. Oh, you seem like you were fast asleep. I was the one getting up, checking the tender. Oh, I, I thought I'd be nice and let you do it for once. Piss off. You <laughs> never do it anymore. You sleep like a baby through anything. It's always me. Um, so we've got a 1.1 nautical mile tender ride, and it looks like it's going to be pretty rough to get over. Ah, it looks okay. It's just it's really a little like, chop. Yeah, but it's just consistent. Places out of every road to why you Scooter 
after a little bit of drama, we booked uh, a place to pick it up. Luckily, we hadn't paid yet. She told us we needed our international license, so Jason went online and just got a digital copy of it, which you can do really easily. Paid $35 or something for that. US dollars? Or Australian dollars? US dollars. So it's like 50 something dollars in our money. Anyway, we get there and she's like, I need a physical copy of your international license. We're like, well, we don't have one. We can't get one because we live on a boat. So anyway, we had to just cancel that. She told us there was a place around the corner and it was easy as. You just said, have you ridden a scooter before? Wanted our normal license and passport. Didn't ask the international license, so we kind of wasted our money. But um, let's hope we just use that, I guess, in the next year. Make the most of it. Yeah, ready to go. We didn't quite expect such a big highway on a small island. So unfortunately, you don't get to see our 45 kilometer trip from Suitadella to Mahon. In hindsight, it's probably not a journey I would recommend hiring a scooter for, but we made it safely and we're keen to try some local cuisine. We found this cute little marketplace full of stalls selling Spanish pinchos, local craft beers and cocktails. We got a variety of eight pinchos for 23 euro, which definitely isn't the cheapest you'll find, but this place is obviously set up for tourists and that means prices are hiked up. Nonetheless, it was delicious and worth the money for a little treat. I also got one of my favorite local drinks, a pomada, which is gin mixed with a frozen lemon slushy. You must try if you go to Menorca. Let you know when we get there anyway, how it is. We got any wind. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, we can we can probably sail it as long as it's like on a forty or fifty, we'll be right. Yeah. We can't sail as tight as the wind as you, mate. <laughs> Catch ya. Just like that, we're going six and a half knots out of the bay, and perfect conditions. Like there's no swell, no nothing. It's really good. Nine knots of wind on a forty. Can't ask for too much more than that. Dave, hey, that's coming straight to water. That's right. Probably a bit far away from the gas yet, but we'll be able to get it ready. I don't know what it is, hard. So I got this big ship coming towards us at 12, 13 knots. So I guess we're gonna have to let this thing pass us before we set our course again. <gasps> Just put it in the tender. Ew, it's got like, ew, it's got like that jellyfish kind of shit all over it. Oh man, I was so tired. So I was having a nap and Jason yelled out because he gets excited and it scared the living daylights out of me because I thought something was wrong. So I've run up here going, what, what? Because he won't tell me anything. Hit my shin, bloody got my adrenaline pumping. I'm so excited. <sighs> well, got two, but you, I got two not that I want to fish anyway. I don't even want one. How's the journey so far, huh? Very chill. Beautiful. We're not going fast, but no swell. Nothing really to worry about, to be honest. It's been great. Eat out. Nearly in our anchorage, our first anchorage of Mallorca. We 
picked an anchorage that looks really nice and then friends of ours told us how cool it was so we were like set on going there but I hadn't actually checked the reviews of the place I just kind of favorited a bunch of anchorages that looked nice without properly checking um, so we've got a bit of an idea on places we want to see and so I said to Jason you better check the reviews just to make sure there's nothing we have to watch out for when we go in there or whatever and then he realized that the last three or four reviews were people saying that basically they've cordoned off the beach now like the whole anchorage basically it's like a nice little inlet so you're not gonna have any protection you're basically gonna be outside the actual cove itself so we've decided to go down a little bit further maybe like another 15 20 minutes but yeah hopefully we'll be there soon it's like just after eight o'clock at night so it's been a decent like an eight hour sail in the end or well, motor we're motoring the last few hours unfortunately but I'm just making dinner. Um, we've barely got any food left either, but I wanted to try and get rid of a lot of stuff. Um, we really need a defrost freezer. It's really gross in there. So um, yeah, we're just getting rid of our leftovers and then we'll go and do a top up maybe tomorrow or when we get into Palmer. So we might just get a few things to last us for a couple of days. And then when we get into Palmer, we'll do a nice big stock up. Um, they've got everything there. They've got Ikea, they've got Amazon counters, they've got huge supermarkets. So yeah, I think it'll be a really good place to just get things we need and start getting ourselves sorted, so. Oh, so, Mayhem Morning, we just, this place, beautiful little kind of protected anchorage, not protect, not so protected anymore, which we knew about. Um, but we had to put a stern line last night. There was a tiny bit of swell just wrapping around. So we kind of, it was kind of bouncing off these rocks here. So it's going like this. So we kind of went diagonal and it worked pretty well last night um, until this morning and then the ferries just started coming in. So, I think we're gonna make a move, head further west, I guess. But yeah, I nearly lost the drone. I was that, that close. It went in between the two lifelines when I flew it out. The wind just grabbed it and just went, Whew. so, so lucky. There's something wrong with our cats. What are you doing? Oh, good girl. Typical, when I film, you decide not to. We have got the most perfect wind. Nah, it's, uh, it is a pretty nice wind though. So I think it's going to get up to about 15 knots on a, on a beam. So that's, that's our best angle. I think it's most monohull's best angle. Yeah, let's see how we go. Tell everyone where we are, Lulu. No? All right, I'll hand it over to Janae. Where are we, hon? I have no idea. Neither do I. So we're two nautical miles away from the anchorage that we previously went to. Just a nice little swim stop for the day. Uh, we're just waiting for some wind. But now that wind has come. Yeah, and we're gonna get sailing. Are you excited? You want to go sailing, Nala? Hey. We hope you enjoyed a very relaxed episode from us this week as we live our day-to-day -day lives traveling aboard our tiny floating home. Catch you next week for the rest of our time in the Balearic Islands as our time in the Med quickly comes to a close.